Can Replit Agent replace coders? In this video, I'm gonna answer that question. After using Replit Agent religiously to build countless softwares over the last two weeks as somebody with zero technical knowledge whatsoever, I'm gonna give my honest opinion on if I think Replit Agent can fully replace coders and developers. Make sure to stick to the end of this video because I have a feeling that my answer is going to surprise you. All right, so let's tap into what exactly Replit Agent is. If you already know what it is, make sure to skip past this part of the video where I actually just give you my thoughts. So Replit Agent is essentially a code builder using AI. So now we are able to come here and create with a Replit Agent and describe what we want to build with a texting prompt um, and using natural language to actually code our platforms in any way we want. And it does everything on the back end. I'm not a developer. I don't know exactly everything that it does, but all I know is I write something and it builds it and it is absolutely awesome. All right, so basically told our Replit agent to make me an app that displays a map of local landmarks and it is currently writing the code. And here shortly, it's gonna show us the initial prototype of what it built using one simple sentence. All right, so here we go. We have a very basic map that actually shows us landmarks. So you can see here, this is marked and it tells us exactly like why this is a landmark, what the name of it is, all that information. That is really cool. And we did that all with one little sentence here. So now that I showed you a couple of my use cases, I wanna go ahead and go through a couple use cases I saw that absolutely blew my mind that I think are really cool and you guys will like too. So as you can see here, here is a tweet from this doctor and he used Repla agent to build a custom health dashboard for a real patient for a real patient and was curious how it would handle UC since not much of there's not much out there to track symptoms and it created a stool heat map. So this is really cool. He did this in 15 minutes. He was able to build a full entire health dashboard for a client of, or one of his patients for his um, medical practice. That is absolutely awesome. The fact that we're able to build this really simply and customize it based on our patients or our customers needs. That is a really cool use case. And I love the fact that a doctor could build this out just by typing with a Replit agent. So another cool, amazing um, use case here is this person actually took a map and basically said, I want you to add all the places that I could park on the Texas State University campus. If you've ever been on a college campus before, it is a pain in the ass trying to figure out where to park. So she actually went ahead and built her own application that allows you to see where you could park and all the details behind it, when you could park there, when it's reserved, all that stuff. So this is a really cool use case. And it looks like she built it all in under two hours, which I bet you could build even quicker, but that's a really cool use case. So now that you have an overview of what Replit Agent is, I wanna talk about who I think Replit Agent is for. Replit Agent is great for entrepreneurs that are looking to build out a product or a SaaS product and don't know where to start. If you want to build out an MVP of a product to test it on the market to see if your idea is actually good and validated, Replit Agent is an absolutely amazing platform to do so because it is basically free and you don't have to pay any developers, you don't have to speak with developers, and you can just write out exactly what you want to build and you could have people test the functionality and see how they like it. Another great use case for Replit Agent is the ability to learn how to code using Replit Agent. So if you are somebody that has no technical knowledge on the back end, it is great to be able to write something out that you want and then see, okay, what exactly is our AI doing and what code is it writing? What folders and files is it using? How is it um, kind of structuring all of this? That is great. Somebody that is not technical at all, that has been playing around with this for the last two weeks, I have a better understanding of how development works and I wouldn't have learned that if it weren't for Replit Agent. Another thing I think Replit Agent is great for is automating repetitive tasks. And what I mean by that is you have probably used a Zapier or a make.com. If you don't know what those are, those are automation platforms that tie into different softwares that allow them to communicate with each other and do cer certain things. So you could have triggers. So when you get an email, it then sends a message in your Slack channel. And we do that using a third party application. Now we could actually go ahead and do that ourselves using Replit Agent and say, hey, I want you to tie my two apps together. You put in your API keys and that way they could speak together and you have a kind of basically, basically a third party app that you built yourself. It is great for things like that. All right, so now that we talked about all the pros and the good things of Replit Agent, we need to go into the cons. And there are definitely more pros. These are just the main ones that I could think of after using Replit Agent for two weeks. But let's dive into the potential cons of this software. So one thing I want to mention is you are limited to Replit's cloud-based environment, and it may not integrate into your existing project. So this is something where you might need to use a full coding 
platform in order to do. You know, I'm not a huge technical person. I don't know exactly the um, ins and outs of all that. So I don't think Replit Agent, you'd be able to build something like that out on. So there are some limited capabilities. Another thing would be the potential risk of storing your code in a third party application um, for privacy reasons. So you never know. Um, sometimes it's good to just have your own code in your own spot that you know is kind of proprietary and you know that you have safety over. Another big thing that I ran into is sometimes, and I just mean sometimes, sometimes Replit Agent can't figure out the problem. And if you're not a coder or if you're not a developer, it's really difficult to figure out what the problem is. Sometimes I would have it asking me, hey, what do you think the problem is? And I'm like, I don't know how to, I literally tell it, I don't know how to code. You have to figure out this problem for me. And in that use case, you know, it makes it very difficult to build a full stack application that you could deploy and, you know, charge on a monthly basis for without having some form of coding background. So that is one challenge that I ran into. And then this goes hand in hand with it. But the last thing I would say to wrap up this video is misunderstandings in the prompt could lead to errors and it makes it difficult for a beginner to handle. handle. So you could just write something out and you just write it just a little bit wrong and it will build something for you. And then you have to backtrack and figure out how to make an adjustment from that. So that is just another small problem that I ran into while I was using Replit Agent. With all of that being said, do I like Replit Agent? Replit Agent is absolutely mind blowing. It is amazing and it's only going to get better. This is the future of coding and the future of web development. We're gonna be able to write out with natural language what we want and it'll build it for us in minutes. I have full faith that that time is coming and we're getting closer and closer to that. And that will really, decrease the barrier of entry for entrepreneurs or people looking to build their own products, which is really awesome. I love the commoditization of software and the democratization of these different platforms. So that is awesome. Um, I think Revlet Agent is great for an entrepreneur that is looking to get started, wants to test a product, build it out, and he wants to get started, doesn't know where to start. Replit Agent is absolutely amazing for it. So if you guys want to sign up with Replit, this is not a sponsored video, I have a link below but I have a lot more content like this coming out, going over Replit Agent. I'm gonna be building full apps, all this stuff, and you guys can follow along. So make sure you are subscribed to get more AI content and especially AI content with Replit Agent. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.